now after the password input text widget we are going to add basically the login button and then after it we will have like a button for let's say if the user has not an account already then the user has to the user can sign up basically so let me just write here a comment quickly that is we will add a login button and then not have an account not have an account button so now let's just start implementing that we will use a column widget and inside this column widget we are going to implement now there is a reason uh, that is why we will implement these two buttons inside a column even though we are already inside a parent column widget okay the reason for this is that is now we will implement these two buttons as I told you inside this column the reason for this is we will basically add some animations the moment when the user write email password and click on the login button then the user will click on the login button and what we will do is that we will disappear these two buttons okay and we will show the animations so we will treat it as a whole for example let's just do that as well what I can do now is simply here at the top for example now I will simply initialize a boolean type variable and let's give it name as show progress bar and we will give it a default value false so now what we can do is we can simply say that if the show progress bar if this is equals to false that is it simply means that if the user has not clicked on the login button then in that case show progress bar will be equals to false and we will display the login button and also the not have an account sign up, sign up now button okay so that is this column will be visible as you know these button we will implement inside this column otherwise if the show progress bar is not equals to false that is if show progress bar has a value true then in that case instead of column we will display the animations and that is something that we will do in the next video for now we will just display an empty container like this okay and yeah if you want you can add like show animations just as a comment which we will implement inside this container so let me tell you if show progress bar is equals to false that is if the user has not yet clicked on the login button then in that case we will display this column and as you know that inside this column we will have a login button alongside with this second button which will be not have an account sign sign up now button otherwise if the user clicked on the login button then in that case we will make show progress bar show progress bar equals to true and when it has a true value then in that case we will display the animation that is which will tell to the user to please wait like you know we are checking the credentials okay that is either your email and password is correct or not so if it is correct of course we will allow the user to log in so i hope now you understand this so anyways now let us just quickly add buttons first of all we will have a login button so inside the container let's add some width to it and the width will be whatever the screen width is we will minus from it 38 and then the height for this container will be 54 let's apply some decoration on it box decoration color will be white and then border radius border radius dot all radius will be radius dot circular 10 then we can add a child inquel widget 
to this container okay and let's add a click event to it first of all so on tap that is when the user click on it so as I told you the moment when the user click on this login button then we will set the value of this show progress bar to true so we can say that inside the set state we can simply say show progress bar equals to true and then we will start displaying the animation and then of course we will allow the user to sign in successfully if the credentials are correct otherwise we will display an error message so we can add here a comment that is login user now so that is something that we will implement so after the on tap to the inkwell widget we will add child of course as you know we have to add some name on this uh, on this inkwell uh, that is to this button and of course the name of this button is login so we can say child const center at the center of inkwell widget we want to display text using the text widget and that will be basically login after it let's apply some style on this login text so we will have font size 20 color black and the font weight will be font weight dot w700 as you can see so this is all about our button our login button of course we have to add some space after the password text field so we can add that here size box of height 30 as you can see and then after the login button as you know we have to add this so after the login button we can have this so I will use a raw widget since we will first in a horizontal direction first we will have this text that is not have an account and then we will have sign up now button so in a row widget we can do that when we want to represent something in a horizontal direction in flutter okay so yeah let's just quickly do that like when we want to use multiple children for example for this one we will have let's say a text widget inside the text widget in a horizontal direction we will have this text and then in a inkwell widget we will have the sign up now button so I hope now you understand okay that is we are going to use two uh, widgets in a horizontal direction and for that purpose in flutter whenever we want to display two or more than two widgets in a horizontal direction then for that purpose we use a row okay so yeah let's just add first our text widget so we can say const text widget and inside this text widget we can have text like we can say don't have an account like this question mark and space after don we can add comma t like don't don't have an account and then we can apply some style on it of course and the phone size will be 16 and color will be gray as you can see and then after this text similarly in the horizontal direction as I told you we want to display sign up now button using the inkwell widget so we can say after the text widget okay after the text widget let me minimize that so you can see it easily so we can say inkwell you will have the on tap event that is the click event which will be send user to sign up screen and of course the name of this button so we can say child const text widget and we can simply say sign up now of course inside double quotes let's apply some style on it Phone size will be 18, color will be white and font weight will be bold. So it will look like this. Now we want this uh, don't have an account and sign up now at the center. So as you know that both of them are inside this row widget. 
okay as it these are the part of this row so we will apply the property on a row in order to move it to the center and that is basically the man axis alignment that is we can simply say man axis alignment dot center it is moved to the center you can see that then also we want some space between this login button and this row widget okay so what we can do is uh, we can between these two we can just add some size box of height 15 will be enough like this you can see that so this is all about our login screen UI implementation